We gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. You're Mr. Carlton. Yes, Carlton Barber. Carlton Barber. Okay. Yes. All right. What is your the name of your organization again? Uh, my name of the nonprofit organization is called In Your Faith Ministries. In Your Faith Ministries. In Your Faith. Yes. And we're so pleased to be here with you. Um, a lot of people are still having some extra cookouts in my neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> I guess the people, some of them had to work on the four. So they're just trying to make sure they get some Independence Day celebrations going sure. on. Sure. Okay. A wonderful thing to see in the community. All That's right. Great. So cool. So we are here with Mr. Carlton Barber of In Your Faith. In Your Faith or In Your Faith? In Your. Your Faith. Okay. Kind of like In Your Faith. Yeah. yeah. In Your yeah, Faith. Yeah, like That's I like clever. That. I like that. So let's, before we get into, I know we have a lot to unpack here. So first thing I want to do is let's get to know each other. Yes, like sir. for starters, so are you from the area? Well, I'm not technically from the area, mm -hmm. but growing up as an adolescent, I was in a group home here in Oak County for okay. about two years. Um, okay. Over by where they used to have that pet, um, play, that pet shop thing. Okay. On the corner. And uh, I think it's like near the Puppy Creek uh, area. Uh-huh, yeah. And um, I went to school here, and I finished up here, and I enjoyed Hope County. So um, you went to high school in Hope County? Yes, I went down my book. Class of? Yes. <laughs> Class of? Class of, um, make sure I get it right, 2002. 2002, 2002. okay. Oh, wow. All right. 2002, so you're a young man. You're pretty. Yeah. Here, here we're thinking Mr. Minister. We're thinking things That's like that. That's nine years after you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Class of 93 here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. So, so class of 90, uh, 2002, Hope County. And then after that, where where did life well, take after you? After that, life kind of took me away to, to, to talk bigger demographics and mm -hmm. um I went away for a while um, and spent some time in Philadelphia. Okay. 215, go Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> also spent a little time yeah, Giants in fan. Indiana. <laughs> Indiana, Here, okay. You know, the uh, Pacers country, Elkhart, yeah. Indiana, where snow was like this deep. Mm -hmm. When you mm -hmm. got ready to leave the driveway, you were shovel <laughs> shoveling. Well, that's you know, Indiana. And eventually, I was born in Fedville, Cumberland okay. County. Eventually made my way back to Robinson County. Okay. And I met my wife, Wanda, and um, I've always prayed for um, someone who could sing with me. And so that's how the gospel group Heavenly Hearts was orchestrated and created. Oh, so, so you have a musical background then? You have a musical background. Okay. So which came first, the, uh, the music, the love for music, or the pursuit for music, or, or the gospel group? Were ministry you? came first. Okay. Well, no, no, music came first. Okay. And then I became a minister as I went out, sowed my wild oats, and <laughs> done crazy things. And lived your life. And realized <laughs> that uh, what good was it for me to gain the whole world but forsake my soul? Uh -huh. and, and realizing that it was only temporary happiness. Okay. Uh, the real happiness comes when you find a special woman who's going to stick by you through the good and the bad and treacherous times. And believe me, you buddy, we've had some treacherous times, but God is always good. Um, we have have beat, boom, 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 hands down, Rocky style, Philadelphia. We have beat mm -hmm. COVID-19, praise God. And how did that work out for you last year? Did any any issues? I or didn't any? get it Okay. till about four weeks ago. <laughs> really? It's like, Oh, you've done made it through all this. I'm going to slap you around a little bit, uh -huh. you know? And I'm like, hmm. and I know why we have it, but I'm not going to say that. Okay. Because God God doesn't like ugly. But the good thing is God does look out for his people. Okay. And um, we were able to catch it early, praise God. Mm -hmm. And you know something? I personally didn't even lose my taste buds. <laughs> and that was a good thing, you know. That was a real, but Wanda, I just had a lot of soreness up here. Mm -hmm. um, she kept saying, she said, I'm, I'm not feeling too good. I said, well, 
then let's go to the hospital. So we went to a little small uh, uh, emergency room here in Hope County, mm-hmm. and I will say that they are pretty good at doing a lot of things. Um, the wait was a little bit lengthier that evening than it normally be, but um, we found out we had it and everything, and um, the, posi- the physician assistants, which I don't like, a lot of physician assistants. You know, in the streets, we say they're quack, 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 quack. But we won't even go there. But, um, but um, unfortunately, uh, for, very fortunately for us, mm-hmm. um, praise the Lord, um, they called, they told us that we had it, and they told her, they said, now here's the good thing. He said, I've treated about 7,000 people. Okay. Because he works at other hospitals, you know, too. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm only hospitalized seven of those people and and nobody died awesome so he said what i want y'all to do is go get you some zinc okay uh, go get you some vitamin c so ran to cvs mask on everything you know went in there and got the stuff and um we just made an announcement we said right now everything is on hold you know with the ministry uh, we're make random posts, yeah. but I'm concerned with rest, 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 rest. And um, it just kind of taking anything from fair flu to ibuprofen and then mixing ibuprofen up sometimes with um, cough medicine and just not taking too much of one thing because, you know, Tylenol has affects your liver. Ibuprofen, too much of that is bad also. So we just kind of mixed it up. I took a lot of steamy showers for the soreness mm, the muscles. in the shoulders. Mm-hmm. And um, next thing you know, our core team was up about four or five days ago and got out a little bit this weekend. We had a um, school supply drive yard sale over at CR Strubs. Support our local businesses, Hope County, Fayetteville, Lumberton. Listen, all the CNAs, nursing assistants, and anybody who needs uniforms, please go see Ms. Crystal Renee on Fayetteville Road and support CR Strauss because they were nice enough to let us sit there and have our uh, uh, a fundraiser and stuff, and we need to support local businesses. Absolutely. Well, and that, that is, that is uh, as well as, too, not to jump off the whole COVID thing. I'm glad everything worked out, and you guys, you know, you seem in good, good uh, spirits now. And that was four weeks ago, right? Yes. All right. So since then, everything has been cool, and uh, you're back into the uh, to back to normal. Back to normal. <laughs> but to get into the small businesses here, um, you know, <clears throat> that's something that, like I said, I grew up here, and um, I went to Hope County as well. And then I left after school pretty fast. I left in '95, yes. and I'm just now returning back. And and it's good to see people that I went to school with having businesses, small businesses and things uh-huh. like that. In fact, I think small businesses are kind of like the backbone of this area now. Yes. And if it has, it's probably has always been that way. Yes. yes. Because before we didn't, growing up, we didn't have the big box stores. No. No. So in your experience, you know, and in, in, in what you're doing, you know, where do you see, how do you see where small businesses can get together help or the community can help small businesses and things like that? Well, the Chamber of Commerce here in Hope County mm-hmm. um, really hasn't had anybody for quite some time that really wanted to help them. So I just stopped in uh, a couple of weeks ago and I talked to the lady. And <clears throat> at this point, she is going to start building up a website and giving businesses a chance to shine. Um, I think a lot of the businesses in Hope County derive from nonprofits, okay. I'm seeing that a lot of people that are nonprofits also have businesses on the side because, um, speaking of COVID, COVID has really hurt the fundraising for nonprofits. Well, there's nothing wrong with having a, a nonprofit, in my opinion, and also having another business on the side because in the end, you know, we all have to, uh, the like commerce, it's all commerce, yes, you know. <laughs> and, and, and don't, so a professor told me when we were taking our classes at Robinson Community College says, don't be deceived. People say, nonprofit, you ain't going to make nothing. Uh, you won't be a nonprofit long. <laughs> fold up if you're not getting anything. Yeah, indeed. So, um, and what I do is um, 
with my with my with my other businesses that I do, mm -hmm. I always take and tie a percentage of my revenue right back to my nonprofit. Okay. Well, as long as my bills are paid, as long as there's food on the table, I, I just believe that God would have me anything extra just to shift it over to the In Your Faith Ministries. Okay, and, and if you could break down In Your Faith Ministries just a little bit, uh, what is the, I would say, the mission? Of the mission of In Your Faith Ministries, um, <laughs> number one, back to the Y-A, yeah. Um, <laughs> People have tried to get me to change that for a long time. Said it sounds too street, too hood. Well, I'm a product of being homeless. I'm a product of living in the streets, book bag on my back. You know, not mm -hmm. knowing where my next meal was coming from. Not knowing where I was going to get any rest or not. Not knowing if somebody was going to knock me in the head because I'm having to sleep behind the trash cans at Big Park Mall in Lumberton, things of that nature. So, no, it's not going to be changed because the young people are our future. And that why, you can just put it down as youth. Indeed. The youth. That A, you can put it down as attitude. And okay. Attitude. Because we have to change our attitudes and our mindsets because the Word of God says, I didn't come to preach, but the Word of God <laughs> does say, let us be. Let your minds be renewed by the transforming of your minds. Indeed. And a devil and and and, a, and a, a lonely person's mind, a depressed person's mind, is the devil's playground. And I believe, even if you don't want to get spiritual, any time you have a young person who feels like they're worthless, Amen. Any time you have a young person that is mm -hmm. depressed, any time you have a young person living in a household where they get bullied, where they get put down. We have to change that, and we have to get them young people towards somebody, some organization, some outlet that will show them love, that will show them you are someone. God doesn't make any junk. I have always said, I've done a lot of newspaper articles, Fair World Observer, Rob Sony, a lot of interviews, a lot of podcasts, both when I was a rap artist and now that I'm a gospel singer. And this is what I've told people simply. If you can take a pretty picture, take that picture. If you can um, sing, keep singing. If you can write, keep writing. Because those are the very... See, God gives people like Carlton Barber, like one of people that he knows that are going through struggles. He gives us special things. And then the rich people look back and say, man, I wish I could sing like him. <laughs> man, I wish I could ch 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 cut records like you. And, and, and um, God's gifts are used to bless other people. That's what it is. And the more you bless other people, the more when it's your time to be in need, I'm sure that if you take a little bit and use what you have, you're, you're going to make it. You're going to so, be all right. So what are some of the tools that In Your Faith ha in your faith has at its disposal to reach, um, you know, that young kid that might be depressed or something like okay. that? Well, uh, number one, it got canceled a few weekends ago because of the weather. We do puppet ministry. Okay. And um, it's called In Your Faith on Puppets. Everything, keep it simple. Because that's what branding and marketing, you switch up on people. They'll be looking for this, and they'll be sitting down away because mm -hmm. they think it's separate. Yeah. But I try to keep everything on neutral territory. But um, these puppets are very cool. In fact, maybe we could convince one of the hide behind the camera and do a little segment with our puppets. Grandpa Gordon, named after my <laughs> wife's <laughs> father. Um, and um, he... His birthday, shout out to my wife's father. His birthday will be tomorrow. I think it'd be like Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, old. Grandpa Gordon. He's passed That's right. Away. He's passed away. Mm. And um, his happy wife's birthday. father, Robert Gordon. I want to say happy birthday, honey, if you're out there in the car listening. Happy birthday <laughs> to your father. He's no longer with us. Happy so, birthday. Um, me and my wife had a miscarriage. So one of the little girl puppets has pretty little brown hair, Aww. and her name is Madeline. Okay. Maddie. 
Um, and Lois is the woman, the, the, the lady, the grandma. Mm -hmm. Wanda's mama passed away four years ago from cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, we got Faith Fest on August the 14th. And, and what is Faith Fest? Right, really good things because the following day will be five years since her mother's been passed away on August the 15th. And the weekend before, to keep from getting killed myself and in trouble, it's Wanda's birthday. So when we went to start planning Faith Fest, I promised her. We're not mess with your birthday weekend, I promise. So, yeah, okay, so first first things first, birthday weekend. <laughs> yeah, first things first, birthday So weekend. what, break down Faith Fest for us a little bit. Faith Fest, oh my God, I can't. So I'm sitting around home, and we're in the first few months of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. um, I see everything switching to a digital <laughs> format. Um Matter of fact, we have our Carolinas Gospel Music Convention this weekend uh, on Sunday and on uh, Saturday each night at uh, 6 p.m. Want more information? 704-441-7595. 704-441-7595. So Faith Fest. So I'm sitting around and you're seeing all this stuff that says faith over fear. Faith over fear. You know, you've seen it. Um, and I'm thinking, well, God, um, we got to get the ball moving. And I'm hearing stories of how, you know, food trucks are closing down. Yeah. A lot of them. I'm hearing uh, uh, stories of how small businesses are closing. Um, and I'm saying, well, God, let me do my part. And Wanda said, well, why don't you try to get school supplies for the children? I said, well, you know, that's right on the money because the government and the presidents and stuff had to help during COVID make sure that there were funding for the tablets, you mm -hmm. know, and all the different things that were used, uh, as I can say, used to further education in the midst of the pandemic. You had to have the tablets. Everything was virtual. So I said, well, they're going to be um, going back to school, hopefully, you know, thank God, you know, Parents are saying, please, please, <laughs> you know, and um, so I said, we'll do Faith Fest Saturday, August uh, the 14th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Armory, uh, 423 East Central Avenue, Rayford, North Carolina. Armory right here in Rayford, Red North Carolina. <laughs> hometown boy, Carlton Barber, amen. That's right. And some free admission. Okay, so what are, we, what are some of the things we can expect at Faith Fest? Good gospel music. Just wonderful gospel, and not just one type of gospel, man. We've got Hope County's on JB the Messenger. Okay. 4,000 views on YouTube. Wow! And probably that's me checking a couple weeks ago. They uh -huh. Tell them what that boy's got now. Him and his wife, he's the pastor of Mount Carmel Church. Okay. Right okay. In Hope County, amen. JB the Messenger, shouts out to you, buddy. <laughs> we get you over here to talk about your <laughs> ministry. Hey, I believe it's supporting everyone. There's enough PR for us all. Thanks, JB, the messenger, hitting the stage. And then we'll go down to Charleston, South Carolina. That's also where they filmed The Notebook. One of okay. my wife's favorite of, of all course. movies. <laughs> and um, hey, I'm a jack of all trades, a master of none, amen? <laughs> but I know the master. And so basically, we're going to have Ziggy, formerly mm. of Soul Creek, telling you, man, he's coming through. Phenomenon guitar player. Okay. We got uh, Christian Rock. And you've got okay. your hometown heroes, Carlton and Wanda Barber. <laughs> heavenly hearts. Gonna hit you off with that good Southern gospel, that good country. Okay. You'll taste the contemporary gospel. Oh, there you go. So how many, how many, just, uh, you know, let me just slow you down a little bit. How many members are in, in Southern and, uh, Soulful, is it Soulful Hearts? So I apologize. Heavenly Hearts. Heavenly Hearts. Just me and my wonderful just you, so are the are you guys a cappella singers? Do you have a band, backup we can band? We sing a cappella, but we've got as Marty Five says it up in maybe a cappella, a cappella. <laughs> we can do that, but we have our tracks produced by okay. producers and stuff like oh, that. Oh, awesome, okay. awesome, and awesome! We have uh, t-shirts, merchandise. We have a website. If I could drop that, no, by all absolutely. means, absolutely. I N Y A. 
infaithministries.org. I N Y A faithministries.org if you have a way to put that out there to your listeners definitely great loosely appreciate that for sure check them exactly. out exactly just uh, make sure you text a messenger to the link to me yes, and I'll sir. make I'll get it up on and, the um, so the heavenly hearts Bishop Johnson and witness action for Christ ministries mm-hmm. right down the road in McCain North Carolina he is sponsoring a ton of school supplies and Shout out to my father's house disciples. I think mm-hmm. I said right. Mm-hmm. I know. The, I know. Um, Benson. Um, not Benson. Ta- Tamika and Vincent Blanchard. Okay. You know okay. How the Blanchard name is huge because actually JB the messenger is kin to the him. Okay. You know, and they're going to be spout um, sponsoring the bouncy houses. Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah. So we have that too, and Fun. also. I want to make mention from Lois, South Carolina, we have a petting zoo coming through called Lazy Days. And I know where my wife is going to spend majority of her time <laughs> over at the petting zoo. Why? Because at home we have two ferrets, we have chickens, <laughs> we raise rabbits. I'm loving that. Oh, wow. We have a schnauzer. So we're big animal people. And I know that she's going to be... Oh, and guess who's going to come as our special guest? Spider-Man. Ooh. Okay. Spider-Man. We're taking pictures with the children. And it's just going to be... And face painting. A bunch of food trucks. Mm. Uh, vendors. And we still are taking vendors. Um, I said uh, over the weekend you got to 5 o'clock on Monday to get a discount. But... If you have Cash App, dollar sign IYF Media, dollar sign IYF Media, you have until 12 o'clock tonight. The original price for vendors was 50 bucks, but tonight until 12, not a minute after now, come on, help us out. We got to get a bunch of book bags for these children. That's right. We need your help, okay? Well, much is given, much is required. Remember that. It's greater to give than to receive. Listen, tonight until 12 p.m., cash app, dollar sign, I-Y-F media. Wanda's name will come up, Wanda Barber. It is $25 for vendors, and it's $75 for food trucks versus the original $100. We ain't got no more holidays, so I can't promise you that this won't be your last discounted opportunity. So you need to get your cash app out and ching, ching, ching. Now, if you don't want to do that, we'll take a donation. $5, $10, $20, and we're going to buy these book bags. That, that our students have to have mesh book bags and clear book bags to be safe. And I think there might be anywhere between $15 a book bag. So we need your help. We need your help. Hey, that sounds all awesome. Actually, I didn't want to stop you. I wanted you to, by all means. In fact, <laughs> I think it's going to be a pretty cool commercial. I will clip all this for you. And, you know, so you have it. If there's anything that you want to, you know, yes, sir. say it you over. Back, I'd like for you to ask me about the other situation that I'm doing, you know, 2022. Oh, the campaigning? Yes. The campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were going to get that. I was still yeah. just, you know, you got on the run. So I was thinking, hey, let me hey, let, me let him go. Yep. Told given an opportunity, you hey, back you take back. it. You That's take right. it. But it's it's all a good cause. And yes, and is. once again, things going down in, in Hope County and Rayford, it's free admission. People need things to do. Yes, they so do. So yes. if nothing else, you know... Um, at the very least, be curious, come out and support and see what, and see what they got going on. You know what I mean? Um, what time should people... Well, it starts at 10. It starts at 10 a.m.? Yeah, 10 a.m. Okay. And um, we're probably going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, Pledge of Allegiance to the Bible. Um, somebody sing the National Anthem. Okay. And somebody's going to give us a prayer, open in prayer, and then we'll just kick it off from there. Okay. okay, well, I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely interested in Heavenly Hearts music. I, I, I'm curious as to know what, what your beats are like. <laughs> yeah. So, so next time you got to uh, get me over some music or something yeah, for me to check yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did check out your, your Roku channel, actually. I yes. am definitely, um, I think it's cool. You know, and it's definitely where where we're looking to go. So there's some things that we could talk about in terms of how it was done and and how do you maintain it? Yeah. You know, I can pick your brain that way. Yeah. But um, 
just getting to to um, the next thing that you got going on. You're running for county commissioner. Woo! Yes, I'm now, running for county commissioner. Now, before we get into to that too deep, what is a county commissioner? What does a county commissioner do? County commissioners here in Hope County and most counties are responsible for the way that the money of the county is spent. Okay. And a lot of that is mainly uh, taxes that people pay. Okay. And, um, so it's, 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 and that's good that you ask that because that's going to kind of twist the flavor a little bit, if you would. Mm -hmm. Flavor. <laughs> 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 on, on, on why I decided to run. So uh, the county commission uh, permission, uh, position, is it a board or is it just a single uh, person? Like, are no, you? No, okay. um, there is a whole board of okay. commissioners. And this so you would be one of, if, I can, if you would win? If God can, and the people of Hope County uh, and could make it happen, I would be one of them. One of how many? Uh, say maybe six or seven. Okay, yeah, six I'm or seven. Not, okay, okay. So, so it definitely is, is a board. So, okay, um, are you familiar with any of them that are currently county commissioners? Yes, I am. Okay, and do you have a relationship with, with any of them in terms of a working relationship? Um, uh, when I first came to Hope County, mm -hmm. um, I had an idea about food distribution units. Okay. Kind of like a little box y'all got out there and putting food in it. And I signed up to talk at a Hope County me commissioner's meeting. Okay. And um, one of them really acted like they liked it, but they have a habit of acting like they like stuff acting like they want to do things and then kind of pushing people so you see there's a so you see a need to inject new ideas new focus new energy sure does. and okay and is that the main well one of the reasons why you're looking to uh okay yeah, into and, and, right. and another is because there have been so much um wrongful things that were done i was told that it wasn't slander as long as it was public documentation. So okay. there are a lot of public documentation where a lot of these current commissioners have been there for about 20 years, and they have done some pretty bad things. Are there, are there uh, term li limits or is there? Um, I think, I don't know the term limits, but um, the election will be in 2022. Okay. And I have to uh, win the primary before I can go on to the general in November. There's going to be some debates, I take it, that they always have. I made my official announcement on Memorial Day uh, weekend. Okay. I had a big article on the Hope newspaper. Shout okay. outs to the, the, the newspaper. And then I went to the parade. Okay. And I broadcasted with our youth, with our Roku channel, radio network at the parade. I also went the following Monday to the reef ceremony. And let me let me point something out. There was two commissioners there. They helped the Boy Scouts lay down the reefs. There was one commissioner that showed no patriotism at all. You know, normally you would go like this, you'd salute. Or bare, bare minimum, put your hand over your heart. Well, our mayor done this. He saluted. Everybody else done something like this. Hand over this heart. This particular county commissioner walked straight up there. Here's the Boy Scout. And he did nothing. Okay. No form of honoring our fallen heroes. And that left a sickening taste in my mouth. And here I am standing by as the parade goes by with this very thing and I'm filming stuff and I got my flag hanging and I'm doing this. So I don't, it, it, it hurts my heart and it kind of is very distasteful to have people in office that don't honor our fallen, our fallen service members. Yes, that's important. And we have a lot of them here in Hope County. Definitely, definitely. They have gave their lives for this country. So, I'm, uh, re like we said, we were recently returned back to Hope County. Um, I've been gone for a very, very long time. And, and my wife, she's actually from New Jersey. So, this is her first time living in North Carolina at all. So, 
for us, someone who is new, someone who is not privy to what's been going on in the past, you know, 10 years, but we will be voting in 2022. Yes, so. uh, why, how will we, why will we listen to your campaign? What is in, what do you have for us? What should we be aware about, of? First thing, one of the things that have been duly notated on court documents at the Hope County Courthouse, that a certain, I won't call any name, <clears throat> county commissioner lost their law license, completely lost their law license because he was suing for children's and the families of people who got hit and killed in car accidents. Let me tell you why this touches my heart. My wife almost died in a car accident in Lumberton, North Carolina. Got hit head on. If she does her head like this, you'll see the scars in her head from where she almost died. Now, if you take money from babies, I have no use for you. Because remember my opening statement before we started talking about my campaign. I'm here for the young people. The youth are our future. And if you steal money from babies and the court ordered you to pay it back, Mr. Commissioner, Vice Commissioner, that'll tell a lot about who it is. I ain't but one Vice Commissioner. You steal from our young people, I'm telling you, I don't have no use for you. And in two days, I've made about 100 calls personally to people. And there's a lot more people that don't like the fact that you robbed from them kids. Because at the end of the day, them kids' ba them kids family got killed. How are they going to survive without a working mom, without a working father? You owe them that money, and, I, and you should do the right thing and pay them. And the courts ordered you to. So if I'm, you know... Um I guess, what's something that, is there anything that I should be aware of? I'm not of? taking a salary. <laughs> I'm not taking a salary. Oh, no? No, it's going to be completely, oh, well, that's. I'm, I'm not taking a salary. And the reason being is a fool and their money are soon parted. And I have a heart. See, what people don't understand and they need to understand is, number one, a lot of these current commissioners have nine to fives. They get into these meetings and they rush people out. You can watch it. Matter of fact, go to the county website and watch how we have 20 or 30 elderly people, black, white, come in, they're Native American, and tell them how we need the roads paved in Hope County mm -hmm. because the um, post office people won't deliver life, life, um, um, so is that something that yes. the county commissioner would, the board would be involved with in terms of Not delegating? Not necessarily, <laughs> okay. but it starts with them. They're, they're tell you, they're saying, this is what they're saying, they're saying, those are, a lot of those are private roads. We can't get into that. But from doing homework and doing research, what they can do and what they're not doing is provide education to these people. And since we run a nonprofit and we know how to write grants, first thing these poor farmers and agriculture people here in Hoke are going to say is, we don't have the money to pay these roads or the resources. Well, I want to tell you how you can get the resources and the grant money. And as one of my plans of actions, I want to take the community buildings and set up classes on how to write grants. Okay. So I want to help them. They're saying it ain't our it ain't our cup of tea. That's what the commissioner's saying. The people are saying we still want it done. We still need it done. And Carlton Barber for Hope County Commissioner 2022, Democratic Party is saying, let me help y'all find another alternative to get those roads paid. Simple put. Okay. So, in addition to to that, is there a thing? Are there things that? As a, a citizen of Hope County, a resident of Hope County, rather, um, that that I should be aware of that the current county, uh, county commissioners should be doing, doing 
and they're not doing. Exactly. How, how you done up? Well, basically, in a nutshell, is this. Me and my wife, both disabled, you already know that. We were without transportation for two months. We personally rode on the Hatch Transit. I went to the armory with our ministry money to pay to have this event. Woman picks me up. I'm sitting on one side of the seat. The other seat, she makes me give up my seat as a disabled person riding public transportation. I write a, a letter back to the editor and I am considering filing a civil lawsuit because you don't ask a disabled person to give up their seat to another disabled person when there were seats available for that other disabled person. I was the only one on the bus. Okay. I mean, and they lied like that. The vice commissioner called me back and he said, you're funny if you think you can sue the county. These are tax people's dollars. I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And there is. I mean, you look at George Floyd's family and all the crap that they went through. And we put them on the cover of our magazine, by the way. So I want you to understand, I'm the human race. More work, less talk. Carlton Barber for Hope County Commissioner, Democratic Party, 2022. I love y'all. So, so what would be your day one, you know, in the past elect, elect, uh, elections, electoral cycles, everyone liked to talk about day one. This is what I'm going to do on day one. And the presidential cycle, they was like, on day one, I'm going to... On the first 100 yeah, days. <laughs> yeah, first 100 days, I'm going to uh, well, cure cancer. So what does a county... Gonna wait, we're not going to wait for the first 50. We're not going to wait for the first 100. I am a member of the Open Door Soup Kitchen Board. Shouts out to uh, Al Anderson, Mrs. Betty Perkinson, and also Mrs. Um, uh, the lady that owns Miss Renee that owns uh, S R um, C R Scrubs. Listen, what is the Soup Kitchen Board? Just the, the Soup Kitchen Board. Um, they have been assisting Hope County for a long time. Okay. They're the building out on Turnpike Road, the blue building. Okay. And they feed. Oh yeah. They and let me tell you something else about Carlton. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Guess who one of our donations came from during this weekend's school supply drive? Mr. Chris Hollander. We love you, man. I know you're a Republican, but that just proves that a Republican and a Democrat can be unified because this is what I said several weeks ago at the library stage at Hope County with my speech. It's on YouTube. United we stand, divided we fall. Teamwork will make the dream work. Okay. And you got to have more work and less talk. All these current commissioners are doing this. They're saying anything to get us out of their faces. Okay. We need sound judgment, new ideals. So within the, not even the first 50, not even the first 100, I'm working with Maggie's Outreach. You've heard of them. Open Door Soup Kitchen. And we are getting ready to write to Lowe's. We're going to get some supplies donated. And we're going to build benches and shelters so that when people like our elderly people ride the hats, okay. buses, it's getting ready to be 107 degrees out here. Do y'all commissioners want to be the reason? Because y'all want to be cheap. And I say it like this. Because you want to be cheap. You want to waste money. Building an Olympic size swimming pool on 401, Highway 401, but you don't have enough funds, enough decency to, to make sure that disabled people don't catch a heat stroke during this heat when they ride the buses because that's the only way that they can get from point A to point B to dialysis. Come on. Come on, people. You got to have a heart. And if you don't have a heart, then we don't need you as Hope County Commissioners. That, that's cut and dry. That is cut and dry. It's pretty cut. And just to, because uh, once again, uh, as a returning, someone returning uh, to Hope County, I didn't even know that there was a public bus system. So just, uh, are there anything that you can get out to maybe our listeners, your listeners, yeah. just a few things that they would, well, well, they well, might want to know. Public transportation, if you don't mind. Cumberland County. Robinson County. Mm -hmm. Remember I said all they're doing is wasting money? A responsible county commissioner 
would be concerned with making money for the county. How can you keep robbing Peter just to pay Paul? Okay. And you're not bringing any revenue into this county. You're going to go broke. And then when Vice Commissioner went broke, what did he do? He played dirty and stole from babies. Baby thief. But back to the point. I have an idea, a solid idea to get revenue here in Hope County. Mm -hmm. Ask me what it is. What's your idea? Basically, I'm not afraid to look at other counties to get ideas because I know, I know, I don't, I know I don't know everything. Follow me? So let me say it to you like this. The other counties, Cumberland and Robinson, are putting advertisements on the side of their buses. Indeed. We can do the same thing, sure. create a flow of economy and revenue, and take that revenue and do good things with instead of wasteful things. Ho County citizens are sick of waste, sick of lies, sick of laziness. Get it together or get out. Because I'm coming after that seat. I'm going to get my seat in Jesus' name. Because the people understand that I know some stuff. I know how to do some things. Carbon Barber, Ho County Commissioner, Democratic Party, 2022. God bless. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up your campaign in a nutshell. I mean, <laughs> that's great. Um, you know, I'm I'm sorry to hear about the things that have happened as far as the the past uh, board yes. members, uh, the stuff that's yes. either alleged or otherwise. Yes. Um, I'm excited to to see what you would do in in this position. I uh, your campaign is definitely interesting. Um, You'll definitely be following. You it. definitely taught me about a lot about county commissioner. Um, Throughout the years, I've known people who've run for it. I've known people who've actually been elected to yes, county commissioners, but I didn't really know exactly what a county county commissioner well, does. Actually, um, we were able to. find the channel pretty easily on the Roku. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, so anyone who has a Roku the TV. Department, there were some issues come up, and I told him we're getting ready to get into a busy week this week. Mm -hmm. And um, he fixed it right on up for me. Okay, okay. I'll get you uh, a copy of this, and uh, that way, so, you know, it would be awesome if you upload it. <laughs> That's <laughs> you right. Yeah. And I'll also get you an audio version as well, if you Thank want you. it Thank for your radio you. station. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, that's sweet. Put it on there, I'm going to leave it on there. Yeah, we, would have, uh, yes. we had a radio station as well, uh, T4J Radio, for a long time. Yes. Uh, when we first moved down here, actually we had it in Jersey and ended up here. Um, just, we just went into video and things like that, but I would always, I loved the radio station. Yes. It was something mm -hmm. that I would totally do again. I love any outlet that's going to help put entrepreneurs up at the front pole mm -hmm. and help them grow out of their business. So what kind of, like new ideas do you have for just the the county the the county as a whole or for your position um if if you were to win this uh, uh position new ideals would include a christmas parade i don't understand how you have santa claus riding on the back if you know, it's not all about santa you know but i still I'm not, i don't have a problem with santa you know, I mean, that's, you know, that's what the season represents for babies. And also for Christian, it represents the birth of our, our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. And I don't understand how, when I called um, them at the Fall Festival um, board and said, do you have a Christmas? No, we, Santa Claus rides on the fire truck during homecoming, Fall uh, Festival parade. Santa and Father. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Set her at, at Thanksgiving. At Thanksgiving. And a, of, and a lot of the Christians people feel the same way. Okay. And uh, they said this is what they said. Well, we have a situation uh, where we have this vendor set up and it's like a Christmas bazaar thing. I said, well, good, cool. Why don't you do the parade before you do that? I mean, there's, I mean, people are so narrow-minded mm. that they don't believe in expansion. Okay. Fine, have it. That's good. That's great. Gives the people a chance to vend. I get it. I love it. Mm-hmm. But do a parade before that and see how much that increases. I guarantee you. With the right promotions, you check us out. You'll get, you'll get it one of these days. I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're never supposed to say the same. We progress. We grow. We grow. We evolve. You know, and, 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 and that's why we need somebody that, that doesn't want to be humdrum, dead. You know? Okay. Get the flies out of your face. Come on, <laughs> I mean, wake up, smell the folders. And there's much to be done. They don't want to do it. That's the reason my slogan is more work, less talk. Because I want to do it. And it gives me joy to do it. Mm-hmm. I don't need no money. Keep your money. You know? Matter of fact, I said uh, donate my money to uh, outreach programs. Like getting our young people off of opiums. Yes. Okay. Hair wrong. You know, mm-hmm. I just lost my brother and tragically. You know? And before that, I lost my grandfather. So just I'm to uh, break it down just a little bit, again, for a kind of commissioner, for the most part, their, their duties are budgeting. Mm-hmm. And and delegating funds one way here or the other. Yeah, delegating funds and if there's some other things to it too, like if a situation arises and somebody wants to rezone land or build okay. something or bring something big, then of course they got to figure it out. We need to build a schoolhouse. Uh huh. People in okay, I just that's my first time seeing that little schoolhouse. All two years I wrote, we have. Separate elementary schools, separate middle schools, 1,500 plus students, one high school. And we're growing every single day by leaps and bounds. And before long, you're going to have 50 some students in a classroom. Hope County, you're opening up yourself for a big can of worms. More fights, more arguing, more dropping out of kids, dropping out of high school. If that's the way you want it, I don't want it that way. Yeah, I would imagine because once again, I graduated in '93. You graduated in 2002. It was heavy back then with the so that's sizes. ten years. Yeah. Um, so one high school, you would think, but within that ten years, we've probably gained three or four new neighborhoods. Oh yes, and the military are flocking here because it's small, convenient, and, and most of the time quiet. Most yeah. of the time quiet. You know, most of the mm-hmm. time. Okay, so it's country living. <laughs> it's a lot better than Robinson County. And you're talking about somebody who spent many of my years in, in, in Robinson and uh, uh, Lumbee Nation. I appreciate the way y'all um, had the celebration this weekend. I do, I enjoyed going over there and stuff, having that turkey leg and giving out some advertisements. And we're, we're, we're going to continue to support so, because Lumbee Tribe. Branches out to Hope County too. Mm-hmm. You know. So are you are you Native American? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And is that where the barber name comes from? Is no, the barber name comes from my father, but um, I am what you would say three quarters. You know, almost there, but not there. I'm like my 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 my, my grandfather Native American. Grandma was Native American. My dad's dad was Native American. But he married a white woman, so I'm kind of like yeah. three quarters Native American, not half. I'm a little more than half. And um, actually, the Lumbee tribe was able to help me relocate back here to Hope County. Okay. So I, I, I really am um, indebted to my tribe. You know, Understood. For all that they've done. Understood. All right. Well, it has been a great, you know, Woo! back and forth. I mean, while. I think we've covered a lot, you know, I just wanted to give the stage to you just one more time to just, not just your, for county commissioner, but for in your faith, you know, let's once again, just go through the, so we got you in your faith. We got August the 14th. 
Faith Fest. August Faith 14th. Fest. Uh, we need some donations. Please help us out. We got a lot of crayons, a lot of glue, a lot of stuff like that. But the book bags, that's something that we need some help on. And uh, Miss Renee said y'all could bring them by from 10 o'clock to around 4, Monday through Friday at CR Shrubs. CR Shrubs. Bring us some fish book bags and some clear book bags so we can pick them up from her and we can get those bad boys filled up and with the goodies that we have. And also Open Door Soup Kitchen is donating some deodorant, some body wash, some hygienical products. That's and it'd be uh, yeah. entertainment for all ages. Yes, entertainment for all ages. Panning zoo, bouncy houses, face painting, food, band, food truck. <laughs> We're still taking vendors. Us uh, 908. You still and I got charge on my phone, so you still cash at me. You know, dollar sign I Y F Media. Twenty five for vendors, seventy five for food trucks. We love y'all. And just uh, another shout out to uh, some of the entertainment uh, to we expect. Uh, Ziggy, uh, formerly of Soul Creek, Amber Clark, leading us in praise and worship. Bishop Johnson and Witness, gospel rapper JB the Messenger, hometown heroes, award-winning Heavenly Hearts, um, Cross Connection, national recording artists, all the way from Indiana. They're coming. All you are gonna bless your hearts. And also quality in and sweets. If you're coming from a little ways up the road, which a lot of people are, rising stars of East Over, South Carolina. Many, many more. Uh, check out the phone. Quality Inn is giving discounts. All you got to do is call Quality Inn and Suites. It's Faith Fest 8369. Faith Fest 8369 is the promo code. That's super dope. Super That's dope. Excellent. Super dope. <laughs> all right, man. Hey, I'm on board. I'm here for all of it. I really dig Um Everything that you guys are got going on, uh, how do you feel about? I feel great. I wish you lots of luck in your campaign, and we'll definitely be following you along the way. Thank and you, thank you, thank you know, you. and thank good you. luck to you. Thank it's you. pretty Shout big out deal. To Wanda. We love you, honey. No, you didn't feel like getting involved. <laughs> Hope County, listen. Open up your hearts. Open up your ears. Do your homework. Pay close attention. Make a sound informed decision in the election and also support these events from in your faith ministry because these events give you something to do and also provide you know stuff for people like our young people with these school supplies please support us we love you hope county all surrounding counties we love you god bless you and good night and uh where can can uh, the audience reach you and check out some of your stuff. 704417595. Office number Monday through Friday, 10 to 5 is 910 248 6762. 910 248 6762. The website also has a donation button on it. It's infaithministries.org. Infaithministries.org. Carlton and Wanda Barber on Facebook. God bless you. Thank y'all so very much. Hey, that was awesome. That, that was, was awesome. great. Go and support. <laughs> go and support. And with that, we are going to go out to break, and we will see you guys Peace when we get back. Well, I'm going to shout and sing until the heavens ring. When we all will be this old sinful world, bye-bye. Y'all ready to take this trip? You got your ticket, I got mine. Honey, you got yours? I got Let's mine. Let's take a trip. Jesus paid the price for you on Calvary. When he bled and died for you, it's up to you. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Amen. Hey guys, it's James C. Ah, here from the Kim Super James C. Show. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe down below. All my time in prayer. All right. And when the ship comes in, gonna leave this world.